Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at the brand new update of dark os windows emulator in which mali gpu support has been added there are a lot more options which have been customized and the complete ui has been changed you will be able to see it says update available please update dark os now to update dark os you just need to tap on the two button afterwards tap on enter afterwards the first option will be update os option so just go ahead and tap first and then tap on the enter button now this process may take some time as you will be able to see the Dark OS Simulator is getting updated. Now the lights have just cut off so that's why it will be a bit dark when I am filming this video so I hope you guys understand. You will be able to see it says update complete. It will automatically start the Dark OS Windows Simulator. Now you guys might be wondering what are the next step to use this simulator on Mali GPU Android devices. So you will just need to shut down Dark OS and afterwards tap on the enter button. Once that has been done, just go ahead and reopen Dark OS Simulator, tap on the first option and afterwards go to settings. Now inside settings, you will be able to see the add virtual support option. Now this option should be ran only on Mali GPU Android devices. For that, just go ahead and type 11 and then tap on the enter button and it will start using Mali GPU virtual servers and now it will say congratulations virtual with the support of MediaTek and Exynos processor on a Windows emulator for Android. So the next step is to just go ahead and tap on the enter button to go back to exit the safe mode in dark OS emulator afterwards it will just go ahead and restart our emulator and there we go the version is currently 0.96 now that the emulator has been completely updated we are all set just go ahead and tap on the dark OS configuration option in the bottom and if it is not working then this might happen if you have just uh, recently updated your dark OS emulator the simple fix for it is just go ahead and restart the emulator by tapping on the one button and afterwards relaunching the termux app once you restart the emulator let's wait once again until the dark OS configuration pops up now i am expecting major performance improvements in this update because brand new versions of graphics driver has been used complete ui has been changed along with virtual support and also newer versions of box 64 slash box 86 nonetheless you will be able to see the preset has opened and at the bottom you will see the virtual section if you just go and tap on virtual settings you will see lot of options such as OpenGL versions you can also start virtual or stop virtual you can choose the Wine D3D version. This is very important. If you have a MediaTek processor Android device to emulate games, you will need to use D3D9. I'll make a dedicated tutorial of Dark OS Simulator running on a MediaTek processor in future. As the current device which I am using has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, the major extensions won't work on this device. Nonetheless, I'll just go ahead and tap on this option to choose the latest 25 May build of Box 64. This is very important. The newer version means better. Uh, compatibility as well as better performance afterwards we'll just go ahead and tap on switch input bridge to switch the input bridge version let's just go ahead and tap on the gpu driver changer as well make sure to choose the updated version or stable version of gpu driver if you have an adreno gpu android device now the process of updating a graphic driver may take a while so just be patient and once uh, the graphic driver has been loaded inside the dark OS simulator you will get an setup prompt it is still using the 24.1.0 version of turnip driver but if you want to use the latest build of turnip driver then you'll need to go with their builds of graphics driver but i wouldn't recommend it as it may have some graphical issues and there we go the setup is complete i'll tap on the finish option now just go ahead and tap on apply changes and afterwards it will also ask you to restart the dark OS simulator and now we are completely set with the latest version of dark OS simulator to start emulating your favorite PC games on Android, just go ahead and open the file manager and afterwards the D directory. And as usual, one thing which I really like about Dark OS is the fact that it opens directly your internal storage unlike other Windows emulator which just open the D directory of your Android device. Nonetheless, I'll just open GTFI and let's see how well does it actually work. Alright, there we go guys, GTFI is about to start and unfortunately, there is no FPS bar as I forgot to enable the Mango Herd uh, FPS overlay. So I'll try my best to explain uh, the current performance which we might be getting after this update and I'll compare it to the previous versions of Dark OS Simulator to see if it has actually improved or not. Nonetheless, I have input bridge set up and everything is good to go. So let's wait until the loading is complete. Alright, there we go guys. GTFI is now running on my Android device. And first impressions, I have to say that the loading time was pretty long. It took a lot of time. And the second impressions which I am getting is the fact that the lag is present. I think I am getting only about 5 to 10 FPS. That is very poor. But 
This is the same amount of performance which we get on even Mobox emulator on a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 Android device. So I guess Horizon emulator is the only Windows emulator for Android which is best in terms of performance on Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Now Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 as I always say hasn't really been optimized for Windows emulation on Android but still the performance which we are getting is pretty terrible that's why I can't really recommend this emulator or this version of Dark OS if you have an uh, 8 Gen 3 Android device or a an low end Android device. Even on a an Mali GPU Android device you won't be able to emulate a GTA 5 even though it has provided us with virtual support you can only emulate small or old Windows PC games like Assassin's Creed or so on. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this brand new update. One thing which I am noticing though is the fact that the game's graphics is looking a bit more nicer or sharper. Well that may be because uh, of the data being reset. So the game is now running at normal graphics. Hence there might be extra lag too but this is just not a playable gameplay experience if you ask me. Nonetheless that's going to be it for today's video though. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification as I'll keep you guys up to date with the latest Windows emulation videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.